I can talk. Hey everyone, today we're making bird binoculars. Today we are making some binoculars made out of toilet paper rolls. Ew! Well, we're going to reuse them for art. So, we're going to use two drawings, but we need two pieces of paper out of this one. So we're going to fold it in half, open it up, take a pair of scissors, and we're going to cut right across that line. Then I have two pieces of paper that fit on my toilet paper rolls. Okay, once you have a drawing of your bird, you're going to glue that down to your toilet paper roll, like this. And then we're going to attach our two to make some binoculars that we can look at the birds out of our windows. Very exciting stuff today. So how do we make these great looking birds for kindergarten and first grade? Those are easy. We just got to work with our shapes. Circles, one, two, three. We have zigzag lines for the tail and for the wings. And we have the letter L. See the little letter L? Doot, doot, doot. And this bird is going to be feeding its baby bird. So how do I do that? I take my marker or my crayon, doesn't matter. And we're going to start with the shapes. So let's see, there we go. We're going to start with the shapes. We have our circle for the body. And your bird could be different sizes. Your bird could be doing something totally different. You're going to attach a second smaller circle for the head. And then a small circle with a dot for the eye. I'm going to use a triangle for the beak and if I use one triangle his beak looks closed or I could open up his mouth with a second triangle. Okay I'm going to use a zigzag on the back of that circle that'll be for his tail and I need two of the letter L's capital letter L's and now I got to put my wing so I'm going to use another kind of a sideways letter V. See how that's a letter V? There it is. So it's kind of sideways. Okay. And then what I want to do is put a second wing or a second triangle on the top. I'm going to use some fun cartoony lines that are going to make it look like his wings are flapping. So when we use three or two little curve lines, it's going to make it look like movement is going on. It's a cartoon technique that artists use. All right. I could do all sorts of things for this one. I'll just, you know, put some clouds in the background with some wavy lines. There we go. You want to put some trees, smaller trees. You could add those just like this and just making up some curved lines to make my trees. I could put some apples if I want to color those afterwards. Color them with the color red right um all sorts of things i could have uh other birds that are far away by doing little birds just little marks like this uh, and by changing the size of the circles it will change the size of your birds okay so this one's just about done these birds are flying south or coming north i think they're coming up up to new york for the for the summer now all right, so of course, grab your crayons, Whoa. color them up. All right, make them pop. You want these to pop. All right, and we're going to use glue or tape, whichever one works for you. And I'm going to put some glue on the back and uh, roll that with my toilet paper roll. And you are going to cover up a bit and that's okay. All right, so I got one here and I want to make that dry, so press it down. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Take this guy, same thing. Put some glue down through the middle. You don't need a lot. Toilet paper roll. Roll it on up. All right, once he's dry and they're colored, this is where, well, I guess it'll go that way. Or this way, ah, any way you like. There's, I got trees, depends on how you like them. There we go. So I'm gonna leave them just like this. 
Now, you could take tape and put tape around them, duct tape, whatever kind of tape, scotch tape, or you could use a stapler. This is the easiest, and you staple just like that. All right, and you got your bird binoculars ready to look out your windows. All right, I see you later. Bye.